Okay, what I have right here is a TI-1795+. And my mom loves this calculator a lot, but uh, I suppose the battery is no good because it only works if she has a, as she says, good angle of light. Uh, of course, like you can see the little solar panel there and it turns off. But uh shouldn't do that because there should be a battery in there. So let's open it up see what's inside. Okay, so I've opened it now, and uh, this is what we got. I don't see that there is a battery at all, but uh, there is a spot right there for it. I can't say this thing was ever opened in the past, and it doesn't look like there's any wires that are connecting to the, the negative and positive wires, so I guess there was no battery to begin with. Uh, anyway, just in case if you're going to open one of these things, there are a few clips on the side, so make sure you have a small flathead screwdriver to pry those things out. You're just going to need a normal Phillips head screwdriver to, to unscrew these two screws in the back, just right there, and that's it. And the rest are just clips on the, the thing. So uh, what we have here is the solar cell, the, the bus to the display, um, the wires connecting from the solar cell, and then a few capacitors and the circuit board, the computer. Uh, that's about it. Let's see if we can maybe get a battery for this thing. Okay, so I've checked the voltage to see what the solar cell puts out so I don't get a battery that will fry the, the circuit board. And what it looks like is just a, an ordinary 1.5 volt. Um, I was kind of in the, the solar cell, so the, the voltage is a little bit lower. And, but I saw it get up to about 1.57-ish volts. Um, however, it seems to run just fine around 1.2 volts which is perfect for an application of a nickel metal hydride battery. So I'm going to see if I have a, a spare nickel metal hydride battery that can supply power to this thing and we'll put it right there in that little little hole. Okay, so I found a battery here, a nickel metal hydride battery that I had uh, taken from a different circuit. And uh, I mean, the circuit was no good, so I just took it out of there and it was in a series with uh, two other batteries and I just pulled it apart as you can see one you got the positive here still and one of the tabs that connected to the other battery anyway it fits nicely in this little hole right there so that's perfect um, I, uh, since the solar cell is sitting around 1.5 in fluorescent lighting um, nickel metal hydride batteries usually sit around 1.2 volts ish um, so, and the voltage of this one was 1.218, so the, the solar cell is not going to fry the battery or anything, so it works out perfectly. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps I could put a, a diode in series with this uh, to prevent current from going uh, the opposite direction. Perhaps even the, the solar cell could uh, charge this nickel metal hydride battery. So, uh, I don't know, let's check it out. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so while the soldering iron is warming up here, I've gotten the uh, the battery here all nice and sat down, sitting there comfortably, and I've gotten the diode ready. Uh, this diode it will cause a 0.5 voltage drop from the solar cell to the battery, and who knows, maybe that will won't charge the battery, but I don't want this battery to to cycle through the circuit without being actually used and so that's what the diode is for. Perhaps when this thing is actually in some good light it will give this battery some charge. It's uh, it's not that big of a deal honestly so I think it's just negligible but technically I guess it's not efficient but anyway this is just for a fun little project anyway. So anyway we'll, uh, we'll see if the soldering iron is ready to go. Okay, so the soldering iron is uh, is ready to go. I've already desoldered the positive lead here, and what I'm going to do is solder this lead to. Uh, if we can get a close up to this, if you can see the ah, that's very bad, very bad view. But anyway, on this diode or any diode for that matter, there's going to be a, a line on it, and you want the line to be facing the direction towards the battery is the way that I remember it. I can't remember if it's the, the anode or the cathode. I think um, I think this is the cathode, but I'm not really sure on that. Don't quote me on that or anything. Uh, either way, just think of it as a wall. You don't want electricity going through this way, so you put the diode with the wall towards that way. So I'm going to do that right now. 
Okay, so I've done all the soldering, and I'm just going to go through it step by step. If uh, Let's get that out of the way. Um, let's see. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, so let's start with the battery right here. The, the top side was the negative, and all I did was just jump that. Uh, I clamped it. I, I don't understand what the tabbing wire... I don't know how that it doesn't catch the solder or something, so all I do is just clamp it to the wire. It's pretty solid, so it's not going to become loose, and then it just runs down here to a nice little soldered spot right there. Um, the pot, the excuse me, sorry for the bad picture. The uh, positive right here is just connecting to this big little connection right. Here. The big little connection that didn't make sense. <laughs> this connection right here. Ah, sorry for the bad view, but um, this is where the di the end of the diode connects as well as the wire that connects to the positive end now. This other wire right here, this smaller one, is going from the solar cell and it's connecting to the one end of the diode as I showed you and then I just tucked it under here and then it connects to the the battery. The, the battery wire right here and then this big red wire connects to right there to, to finish the circuit. So we have what's going on here is the solar cell is charging the battery and the battery is running the uh, uh, the entire calculator so well with a little bit of help from the solar cell of course. So in essence that's exactly how it works uh, uh, the circuit so I don't know, I'm going to put everything on and uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, we are all finished. I put on the, the cover. It wasn't really that hard to, to put all uh, the back on with all those wires and everything. I uh, screwed the screws back in and uh, it's running just fine. Let's do a quick calculation. Do 555 plus 777. Lucky day. Wonderful. Works just fine. Boom, square root, all that good stuff. And uh, earlier in the video, you saw that whenever whenever I covered the solar cell, it would go away. Cover the solar cell. It dims a little bit because it doesn't have the, the assistance from the solar cell. However, as you can see, it does not turn off because there is now a battery inside. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you learned something, great, wonderful. If not, then uh, sorry. <laughs> But uh, this is just for fun, um, and uh, so, yeah, take care everyone, have a good one.